a lot of people don't understand the importance of time, the value of time mm -hmm. when you're in an investment. Well, it's the, the whole thing is like if you use the wrong metrics to measure things. So if you're using IRR to measure, which stands for internal rate of return, uh -huh. um, if you're using that to measure how like like to measure a deal's value, and you say, okay, I'm if like if we buy a note and we buy the note for a hundred thousand dollars, and you make ten percent on that note. And you, you have it for four years and then the note pays off. So you've made $40,000 plus your hundred thousand you got back. If you run an IRR, that, that IRR number comes out to 24 and some change percent, 24%. Well, any sm halfway smart person can realize my note was 10%. How the hell did I make 24? Because mm -hmm. IRR doesn't tell you your yield. It just tells you what is the rate of discount to when you get your money back and your initial investment back. And that's 24%. And that's how it quantifies that number. If you actually want to know the return, you would use XIRR. It would take how much you spent, how much you made and over what time period. That's the and then it would part. tell you. Yeah. And that same number would give you a 9.99% yield. Not quite 10 because there are over a four year span there. Uh, there's an irregular payment of uh, there's a leap year and there's something else that causes you to lose just a small uh, a piece of your yield. I hate, of what you're trying I hate to those leap, leap years. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. he doesn't walk around with this number, uh, you know, just popping out in his head. He's actually been working on something that... Yep, yeah, been working on it. So um, he's smart, but he's not like a complete genius. No, no, not, not, not savant. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, so that's, that's how you have to look at it. You have to know how, like, what are the right tools to measure? And then those things tell you the yield. They tell you how fast you can get your return back and you can use that to measure, do I want to do this deal or this deal? Right. My IRR tells me that this one's 54%, this one's 28%. Well, 54 means I'm going to get my money back sooner right. than the 24. Right. So maybe I like that deal better. Right. And then you use XIR to say, well, which one's going to yield me the most? And then use your common sense and your experience to say, which one carries more risk? Mm-hmm. Let's, and that's another thing that people yeah. really don't take into account is the risk that they're, they're getting into and mm -hmm. the effort. Yeah. Return on effort. Bill says it all the time. Yeah. yeah. That's because I'm lazy. <laughs> I'm always measuring effort. But yeah. the, the risk is important. I mean, we're hard money lenders, short term lenders. Mm -hmm. We like short term because the risk is lower in a short term than it is long term. And your IRR is higher. That's right. Oh,